The early days of the AIDS response were really characterized by fear, terror, stigma, discrimination, misinformation, and by a lack of information. One of the problems why society and the government didn't care was the people who were getting sick. It became known as the disease of junkies, queers, and whores. And, you know, those are people on the bottom rung of the totem pole of society. And even Ronald Reagan, when he was asked in a cabinet meeting, shouldn't we do something about all these people dying of AIDS, responded with a laugh saying, why aren't all the right people dying? Around the mid 80s, there became a movement to have visibility for AIDS and ACT UP was founded in 87 that basically took that a step farther and said, we are going to turn our anger and our grief, our anger over society's lack of response and our grief over the death of many of our loved ones and turn that grief and anger into action. Eric, just for our listeners to know, how many times have you been arrested for civil disobedience? <laughs> I, I've literally been arrested doing civil disobedience protests more than a hundred times. <laughs> so why do you think it's so important for younger generations, especially within the LGBTQ community, to understand what happened during the AIDS epidemic? And do you think that they do, generally? You know, I really don't think that younger generations, especially of, you know, gay men, know what it was like for those of us living with AIDS in the early days of the epidemic. Now with the advent of PrEP, people don't really worry about getting it because they're like, I take a pill in the morning, so I'm not going to get it. And they don't realize the discrimination, you know, where we were you know, literally not admitted into hospitals or, or doctors wouldn't treat us or funeral homes wouldn't, wouldn't embalm our bodies. And young gay men don't know that. And they don't know how stigmatized uh, we were. Young gay men of color and young trans people because they experience a level of discrimination and prejudice and mistreatment simply because they're people of color or because they're trans. And I think it's more in their wheelhouse and they're more aware than kind of privileged middle and upper class yeah. uh, gay men. And I think it's a unfortunate that all gay and lesbian people don't know that history um, because I think it makes you you know, really aware of societal injustice, of social injustice, of economic injustice, of, you know, the injustices of the legal system. And um, I think that, you know, everyone has a responsibility to try to improve the position of every other person living in this planet. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more Quarantine History, check out the rest of our videos. Subscribe so you'll always know when new ones are coming. And until then, follow us at Everyone's Gay on Instagram.